So as it says in the video title, you can upgrade your firmware for your Samsung LCD or I'm assuming LED and plasma televisions via your Android phone. Um, found this out by plugging my phone into the USB port on the TV to see if I could charge it up uh, at a friend's house and lo and behold it said Android phone was connected. So as soon as I got home I wanted to play around with it, looked online, found out there is a firmware update that was apparently in January that I had not seen so we're going to go ahead and download this file. Sorry for the quality of the video and we're going to download it. I've already downloaded it so I'm just going to go through the motion so you can see how to do something like this. You tell it to save it and go through there. Let's actually minimize this. Sorry. I'm trying to do two things at once. So it's downloading but we already have it so we're going to go ahead and pretend like it's already downloaded and here's the downloaded one. As you see, while it's downloading, it says this, we cancel, just cancel it, and this is what it will look like. Double click this, it will say, you know, warning, blah. So we ask you, do you want to run it? You want to run it, and you want to browse. Let's put it on the desktop, and click OK, and click unzip. And it's going to put a folder on the desktop. Click OK, X, and X out of that. And your phone will beep saying it's connected to something. And we want to go to disk drive. And let's click done. So on your computer it's going to say what do you want to do. Let's cancel out of that. Rule G is available now. And we'll open that. That is the default uh, home directory of the SD card. So we're going to go back to the desktop. That folder. And we're going to drag it just anywhere over here so we get on the bottom right you can see the folder on the bottom left you see a black line instead of you know going highlighted we don't want this we want this so we're gonna go like that and let it copy sorry I'm at uh, my workstations and I'm doing this not on you know one of my joyous nice laptops yeah, bring this over here we're gonna close this out and now on our phone well, we're gonna go and tell it to disconnect from this drive. Uh, it's going to charge only. Done. And we're going to hit home. Hold that down for a second. Open my final manager. And we're checking. Obviously on your Android phone you're going to have quite a bit of other folders. So here it is. The T6 I mean T C A H E 6 A U S C. Um, it's the same one we see up here. So we're good to go. Now we're going to go run over to the TV set and plug this in, and I'll see you over there in a second. And we're at the TV, and we're going to plug the USB port in from the phone to the back. You can't see what I'm doing. Choose disk drive. Done. And on the TV it comes up and says, what do you want to do? We're going to go to software upgrade. Let's see if it works. And a valid version found in the Android device, upgrade version 01001013 to version blah. The system will reset after the upgrade. We're going to go ahead and upgrade it. Okay. And again, this is coming from the Android phone. iPhone, do this. And as you can see the system reset. Sorry about that. Battery died in the camera. Got to check these things before I start. So we disconnected it. Uh, connected. Uh, hit this drive again, and on the 
TV it's giving us the same option. Let's go back to the software upgrade. Check to make sure it's got no upgrade. It's going to take up to 30 seconds. We're looking for it to say no, it's already been updated. You know, that we're running the most current. Same version found. This is what we want. And I hit the button now on accident. So we're now going to uh, check it. Media play on the Android phone. We're going to check out what movies we got on here. So you're going to DCIM. 100 media. This is some bad weather we had here in Oklahoma City. Paused it. And you can see that it's playing the video that I had on the Android device. Pretty cool, didn't know you could actually do this. I'm hit return. So Samsung and HTC and Android, you rock.